we can classify national insurance contribution as related to employment and self employment as far as employment is concerned there are three types of nic that is class 1 primary class 1 secondary and class 1a now as far as the self employment is concerned there are two types of nic that is class 2 and class 4 class 1 primary nic is the responsibility of the employee it is the liability of employee but as far as the class 1 and class 1a is concerned that is the responsibility of employer an employer has to pay against the benefits while class 2 and class 4 are related to self employment so it is the responsibility of the self employed person and it is based on profits now let's check this out in detail so let's discuss the nic related to self employment so next let's let's discuss first class 2 nic the self employment nic is based on the availability of profit so as far as the class 2 nic is concerned it is fixed at a rate of 2.95 per week so for the whole year you can say that uh, i want to calculate nic for the whole year so multiply 2.95 into 52 weeks in this way you can find it out the whole year nic payment is 153 pound now in order to pay class 2 nic the individual must have 16 years age or over first condition and until the state pension age and there is a small profit threshold as well so what is a small profit threshold that is uh, 6 2 50 so what is the meaning of small profit threshold it means that if the tax adjusted trading profit is up to 6250 then no class 2 nic is required so that means that in order to pay class 2 nic an individual must be 16 years or over and until the state pension age if he crosses the state pension age then there is no need to pay at class 2 nic and the profit must be greater than 6250 then the nic is fixed that is 153 per annum also remember that class 2 nic payment is not a allowable expense when we calculate calculating tax adjusted trading profit now 
as far as class 4 nic is concerned this class 4 nic is also based on the tax adjusted trading profit but this is uh, based on the profit threshold so you can say that you have to find out tax adjusted trading profit if there is any trading loss available then we will adjust that trading loss as well the limit is up to 8424 there is no nic so if your profit is more than 8424 then up to 46350 there is a rate of 9% and on excess there is a rate of 2% and this threshold and the rates are available in the tax sheet for example let's assume that the tax adjusted trading profit is 58000 and there is a trading loss brought forward of 10,000. Calculate class 4 NIC. Now, first of all, we have to find out the uh, profit. So, tax adjusted profit is 58,000 adjust trading losses now we have 48,000 of tax adjusted profit for the definition of class 4 NIC now we'll calculate so 46350 and 8424 the difference is multiplied by the rate of 9 percent that is 3413 and the excess value is now the profit minus 46350 and that is 2 percent so this is 33 and the total nic is 3446 As far as the age is concerned, so the rule is same. The individual must be age 16 or above and until attaining the state pension age. Now let's discuss NIC related to employment. So as I told you, there is class one NIC by employee as well as class one by employer and similarly class 1a now let's discuss who is responsible for what type of nic now as far as the class 1 primary or class 1 employee related nic is concerned it is based on gross cash earnings that means that NIC is not payable on the exempt benefits or non-cash benefits. So 
there is no deduction allowed so that means we have to take the gross value and it also includes cash vouchers it is to be payable when an individual is above 16 until the state pension age there is a rate of zero person up to eight four two four and from eight eight four two four till forty six three five zero there is a rate of twelve person and from forty six three fifty above we have a rate of two person and that will be provided you in the tech sheet as well. Now let's discuss the rule of class one by employer. As far as the class one is concerned, the definition is same as that we have discussed related to employing same gross earnings no deductions vouchers are part of this so for the purpose of class one employer and class one employee the definition of earning will remain the same and the same earning value will be used for the calculation of nic but as far as the rate is concerned the rate is applicable 13.8 percent above 8424 for example if gross earnings is say suppose 20,000 so we can say that 20,000 minus 8424 will attract a rate of 13.8% and this will become the NIC. On this type of NIC, there is an employment allowance. Remember that the employment allowance is only available on this type of NIC. So this is 3000 per annum. What it means, let me write it again. What it means if NIC table is more than 3000, say suppose 4000, then the employer will get an allowance of 3000. So that allowance will reduce the liability of employer against class 1 NIC. Now as far as the class 1 A NIC, 1 A NIC is concerned, again this is the responsibility of the employer. An employer has to pay this class 1 NIC. But this is table against the taxable employment benefits other than covered in the definition of gross earnings for class one that means it is based on non cash benefits non cash benefits As I told you that the exempt benefits do not attract any kind of NIC. As far as the age is concerned, it is again the same rule. 
एज सिक्सटीन और ओवर एंड द रेट इज थर्टीन पॉइंट एट परसेंट ऑन दैल्यू ऑफ टेक्सीबल बेनिफिट इट इज टेक्सीबल नॉन कैश बेनिफिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ कार बेनिफिट आर गिवन then we have to find out first the taxable car benefits and then we will calculate the class 1a on the value now let's solve an example a is an employee of AT Limited cash earnings received thirty one thousand four hundred and car benefits fifty eight thousand in tax year eighteen. Nine. Calculate class one employee NIC on the above value. So in this way we can. work it out on the basis of the rules given so we will consider only the earnings of 31400 as car benefit 58000 is not applicable on applicable on employee nic so 31400 and the Threshold is eight four two four multiply by the rate of twelve percent, and the liability is two seven five seven. So, in this way, the liability is two seven five seven. Now, another thing is that, what is the definition of gross earnings for the purpose of class one NIC? so as far as gross earning is concerned gross earnings includes wages salary overtime commission bonuses similarly sick pay tips great to the state vouchers exchangeable for cash and non cash and similarly reimbursement of cost of travel between home and work following do not considered as gross earnings and say that number 1 all exempt benefits most taxable non cash benefits such as car fuel living accommodation 
steps directly received from customer mileage allowance received provided it does not exceed the hmrc rate 